Right, welcome back. Last time we started the game. <laughs> That's the best way to summarize everything that happened. We went to war with Epiros, grabbed three provinces, and then the Ottomans declared war. Thankfully, Maestro is no longer uh, rebellious. Good relations and whatnot. I could integrate them instantly if I wanted to. Once the, well, yeah. Devolve unitary regional garrisons or unitary Devolve unitary and regional garrisons. Okay, so I need to go to enlistment if I want to do that, which shouldn't be too hard. The only problem is um, I lack, whoa, that's new. You need two of the following. Two military ideas. Military companies ideas. Oh, we're on missions. Military companies. Uh, must be a new idea group that isn't represented on this, which I have. I'm not sure if that's been updated. <laughs> but yeah. What was I looking at? Oh yeah. I had forgotten that this massive mission tree exists. Recover Greece. Restore the city. Urban development at least 30. Massive capital. Drive them back. Roman society grows more united. Actually, that's probably how you remove this debuff, so societal malaise. Okay. Right, so the Ottomans decided to declare war on me. I was, um, well, it's... Yeah. It's, well, a religious war, a holy war, so... So, show superiority is the Casas Valley. I was, did lose the first war battle, but was able to fight against um, their ally and grab some extra war score, and was also able to occupy Gallipoli. So now we're in a sort of stalemate. They could theoretically j bunch up their armies and go all the way around. That would take so much military access. They would need it through... S one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven countries. They would need mill access for at least seven countries. They don't have the fleet to actually do anything. So, yeah. There's not much I can do. Some of maybe on other than maybe siege in a couple convenient provinces. Ha! <laughs> okay, okay. Bulgaria is now my subject. Junior partner. I absolutely need to keep maximum relations. And guess who else becomes the Succession participant but then? This is both good and bad. It's good because now I have a powerful subject to stand behind. It means I don't need to conquer Bulgaria. Recovering Bulgaria? Yeah. That's like most of the mission requirement. I just need for them to annex their subjects at some point. Alpanages. Federalism and regional militias. Okay, um, federalism. 
So middle line, yeah. Although I think if I integrate them, I get their subjects too. It doesn't really matter. So that's pretty much most of it. I just need to end up conquering Macedonia too. In order to complete the mission. <laughs> eh, that's excellent. Getting Bulgaria as a subject. It also means this core will not expire, yeah, because the subject has control. I need you to rest and recover. You actually took a lot of damage. A short roll part. Of course, this starts to get siege now, but I can't see it properly because Ceres, who is black flagged, happens to be sitting over there, so I don't see it properly. We're out of flag overlays like that. Crossing the strait takes one less day. One more day. I need to see if I can bait them off there. No, it won't work unless I get almost all of their troops. Enough so that it's a manageable number of troops I need to fight. Of course, the definition of manageable is variable, but... Ten more scores required to make any demands of the AI. They won't accept anything less. However, that's good enough for now. more than the, the one prestige. And again, it's only a few ducats. Uh... I wonder if I can use my troops to bait them across. Problem, such a thing would be extremely dangerous. And I mean excessively so. I wonder what happens if I cross here. Of course they immediately take notice. I don't know how to do that. When is this finished? Let's just cross back. There's no way I can manage to do that. I just wonder if I can bait them to go on to Constantinople. Because if I, if I manage to trap all 50k of their troops, I have free reign over Anatolia. For several years. <laughs> because that can be considered a level 6 fort, because I have naval control, and the Theodosian walls um, provide extra fort levels. I believe it's two extra fort levels. Uh, I'm not counting... Oh, there's also the... Cat, well, even if it only provides one, there's also the fact that it's by capital, which provides an extra fort level. So it's a lot of fort levels. And the plus a thousand defensiveness means that, well, from the Theodosian walls again, means that it takes about 11 times as long. The siege takes take about 11 times as long. Base time is 20 days. So, um, that's... 220 days, not counting any other defensiveness bonuses I might have.
I mean, I could test it to see what happens. Because I can be, if I'm careful, I can be responsive in the... Well, no, I can't. Bulgaria is leaving a ship here. It's a transport. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a transport. Let's bring it all the way down. So we can have a date. Ah, uh, they're not gonna go to Constantinople anyway. <laughs> Maestro is coming in, but aren't you gonna come over Bulgaria? I've got. Um... How long will it take for you? One day. Okay. So long as I do it the next time. Okay. Okay. We might be able to win that. Hopefully. Hopefully I can survive long enough not to lose it. No battle. Four days. Four days for Bulgaria to come in and help out with their better leader. We can do that. We can try that. I'm taking more damage for the first tick. But it's only the fire phase. The shock phase is going to come... are in between the phases. I think it's... Yep, three days. I do not like that shock roll. But we've got more numbers now. And far better rolls. We might actually be able to win the battle. Difference in morale is terrible. Apparently we had... Oh, we've got better discipline. Okay. Though that doesn't mean much. But as long as we continue to get good shock rolls and reasonable fire rolls... Better than that? Please? We won. Excellent. And it was a. S and it's because they could not retreat, it's considered a stack wipe. Excellent. Oh. What about? But we won it. <laughs> Again, I'm able to do this. Oh. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Huh. Okay. It's a start. It's a start. I'm now I'm way stronger. Oh yeah, right, you converted to sunny. Alright, 
Alright, I need Damascus as a new rival. There we go. Keeping Bulgaria under control is going to be rough. They have a high liberty desire, so I'm going to need to be constantly bashing them against someone in order to do anything. It looks like... Wallachia is... going up against Tabrutsta. Yeah. Uh, that's going to cause problems in the future, isn't it? Well, I'm probably going to end up going into Romania at some point anyway. Finally, we're in peace again. Okay. Serbia, Serbia, Serbia. I can easily conquer everything that I need from them. Well, most things that I need from them. Maybe smarter to. Well, Epirus is in a bad position. The thing is, recovery increase is not going to be easy. But I can get this. Not sure what that means. Victory has brought us, brought us precious time, as fear gives way to a glimmer of hope. Many rural elites have made eager trips to the capital, congratulating the autocrator and promising support for future campaigns. Efforts to settle refugees have seen limited success, with many learned men finding new careers and vacant positions across the bureaucracy in Thrace. The lands beyond Thrace, however, remain highly autonomous, absent of any scare capacity to enforce Roman rule beyond the new heartlands. So my, so I'm no longer hemorrhaging noble loyalty every year. Communica communication efficiently improved by 15%. So it goes from 60% total to 75%, which is a lot. In total, it's a buff of 25%. And stability increase interval has reduced by 5%, which is good. Of course, I'm still... I'm no longer dealing with fear of the Turks. That's both good and bad. The good thing is that... War exhaustion should drop like a rock. Of course, it's gonna take forever for it to be completely gone, but at least it's a start. They'd be willing to take that? No, not much more. This would severely weaken them. They would be left with Albania. Um, a Porsche. Um, these two provinces. I think Albania's in the process of getting cored, so... It's gonna take them... A long while to recover from that. Enough to possibly make the Serbian Empire fall apart. So I c probably should go a bit longer if I want to be able to obtain cash. And they're not doing that anything too dangerous to me. Although they are continuously beating up Bulgarian troops, which leaves them weak. Which is both good and bad, because a weaker Bulgaria is more loyal. Oh. Great, the war goal's getting sieged down. <laughs> I should have set you on sculpture and just used the reduced enthusiasm. Nope.
Rename some provinces. These new ones will have to be integrated. Which is going to be difficult because they're going to be Bulgarian culture. War exhaustion, high centralization, and lack of stability. The frickin' poll tax keeps getting introduced. Alright, re-delegate. Hopefully that causes the poll tax to go away. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Yes, and separatism. Previously, I've been conquering nothing but my own cores. Those two provinces are not cores. That's not good. That's not good. It's also like the taxation cost is going to remain somewhat high. But with the acquisition of new provinces, I can kind of now have a larger tax base. Potential tax base. Of course, I keep getting the recruits. I'm not sure how much that is. Hardly any new recruitment, so if I want to maintain the current amount of manpower, which I kind of want to, would allow me to get another cavalry in case I need it. Yeah, I should not touch it. Yay. So, some fun stuff happened. <laughs> we ended up getting a succession war. Yep. Guess who ended up becoming the opponent? Because I was the one that got the... Yeah, it was the Salia. I was the one that ended up obtaining Bulgaria in the middle of the Ottoman War. So I ended up just grabbing this province and getting them to renounce their claim here and a couple of ducats. Then I used Ottoman, well, Bulgarian troops to fight off actually half of the, the Ottoman army. It was amazing. <laughs> we won and got 11 war score out of that battle. And I just sat around gaining war score while hope, and for a little while and wanted to make sure that I got something before the troop ground got high enough so that their enthusiasm would get higher than the potential gains from leaving around, especially since. War exhaustion is a problem. So I grabbed these two provinces. Well, these three provinces off of them. And uh, that way I was able to get rid of the fear of the Turks thing entirely. And upgrade to the other negative spirit to simply exhaustive bureaucracy. Which reduces which improves my communication efficiency somewhat and my stability as well. I've also been rushing through bureaucratic reforms in the hopes of getting provincial corruption down, but it's still really bad. Since the nobles are consistently causing issues as just like my laws are. I've gone through pretty much all the easy stuff. Everything else is going to require more influence from the bureaucrats. Of which there simply is not enough to keep it going. I need to empower the burgers. Give the nobles. I don't like the idea of giving the nobles more power, but since it is on a resting point system somewhat. Yeah. And I need their loyalty. Promoting their interests with the, inside the faction system will continue to help me out. It just means I won't be able to do reforms for a while, which is okay-ish. I do need to grab tech at some point, after all. Sadly, I wasn't able to use the Theodosian Walls, but with Bulgaria helping me out, I don't need the Theodosian Walls. <laughs> Seriously, 
they have a good economy, able to sustain their army reasonably well. And they're reasonably loyal too, I just need to make sure that I don't lose my army and it's all good. Problems. Loans. My loan expenses are really bad. My taxation is not capable of keeping up with everything. Oh, and I also ended up declaring war on Serbia because they had four rebellious divisions that were going to turn into regular divisions soon enough, so I figured if I declare war early enough, I would only have to deal with them and the one division that was not rebellious. Ah, well, I was wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong. <laughs> All of their divisions decided to come in anyway, after a short period. Bulgaria's tributary state also lost a bunch of provinces to Wallachia. So they'll probably end up becoming a target soon. They've also lost the historical neutral because I managed to win that war. I don't think I was supposed to win that war, at least not historically. <laughs> I could do a reconquest, but it's going to take forever for them to lose these cores anyway. Okay, maybe not forever, just half a century. <laughs> 40 years? 40 years. So I can wait 40 years, assuming Wallachia doesn't get any allies, which doesn't seem to be the case. I don't think Wallachia is actually within the mission tree. Or at least anywhere specific to far, far later. So at least I got this mission done, which, again, improves the Empire's improve the Empire's stability. Most of these mission rewards are just local core costs, well, local core creation cost reductions. As well as some buffs, for example, this one gets some legitimacy, which would be very useful. I need to focus economy though. Yeah. Thankfully, this truce will last for another four years. Oh, that's not very long at all. Thankfully, with Bulgaria's assistance, I am at least hefty of enough of a target so that the Ottomans are unlikely to declare war. Reasonably unlikely. Caravans might actually. Well, they're not more dangerous, they're actually pretty far away, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go up against the Thalia again. Oh, they're allied with Serbia now. Well, that's fun. That's fun. Serbia's not that major for threat, it's just the sheer quantity of divisions they have. Of course, with their weak army, their divisions are now going to become rebellious pretty soon. Which makes them into a laughing stock of a threat. Of course, the truces will not... Well, it's not going to be next session, that's for sure. There is a Seiya that I could go against, but one while fighting Venice, who's admittedly busy, but not that busy. I pretty much have to wait for someone to decide, oh hey, they're an easy target. That's unlikely, given the fact that they have AK troops, and none of their neighbors have a sizable amount of troops, not even the Pope has that many... I mean, I might be hungry. I'm gonna have to go up against Hungary eventually. After all, it is Hungary. Okay, eventually moving into Serbia. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take Hungarian provinces to complete this mission. Oh, in the province in the central Balkans region. Must either be in Albania or by me. Well, that's because 
part of the next mission is to annex Albania, which, yeah. Moving on, right. War with Serbia. Grab these five provinces for myself. Mainly these two because A, they're both silver mines, which they're gonna give me lots of money. Well, once they're brought directly under state control and put into proper working order, because that's important. And also Bulgarian provinces so I can finally embrace Bulgarian culture and get this province under better control. So it's not gonna be under. It's gonna be a problem. Until war exhaustion's gone. It's going to take a long while. I'm going to have to stabilize myself. At least stability points come relatively rapidly, though I don't think I'm going to be able to get above zero stability. At least, not reasonably above zero stability. Though I'm certain some of that is from this. Yeah, plus 50% stability increase interval. Yikes. I absolutely need to get my war exhaustion down. Thankfully, it's going down by 0.16 per month, but that's still pretty slow. Considering that's... 0.16 per month multiplied by about 12... It's not quite two per year. So that's 12 years to get down to zero. Of course, some of that's related to army professionalism. Which I'm gaining on, thankfully. The more army professionalism I get, the better my um, war exhaustion decay becomes. At the very least, I now have enough dev to make it so that uh, fully maintained forts no longer um, applies a plus one benefit. Both good and bad. Indicates that might actually be able to start affording my fort soon if corruption doesn't kill me. Which is liable to happen. Estates are looking fine-ish, so long as you don't look at the burgers or the clergy. I'm trying to increase burger power so I can... Yeah. I'm going to need to get trade ideas at some point, though. But improving upon, yeah, improving upon trade is going to be mandatory. I need rank seven of that in order to get mer not meritocracy, commercialization. At the very least, Venice and Genoa are spreading it. It's spreading to Serbia too. I'm not entirely sure why. Center of trade, yeah. Most countries start with 7, at least in Europe. Most countries outside of Europe start with 6. That's how the really big ones. I think the Chinese countries have it low as well in order to make it really hard for them to get it. I start with 3. It's going to cost... It's going to require so many reforms. Strength... So strengthening them? It's going to be really important. We're also getting more merchants, more commerce production, a better idea of burger size. Yeah. Put me more burgers and whatnot, etc. At least the amenities has reached rank 3, so now the population is no longer reducing as quickly. It's still reducing. Hmm. My population is still going down in general. Yeah. Probably could use more food production, more raw goods production. In general, the economy needs to be invested into. I believe there's an overabundance of labor everywhere. Yes. So not as much as you might think. At least among the rural population. Among the urbanites, oh yes. But I don't have the money to invest into anything. I don't know how much property is state owned. Surprising quantity. Okay. Wait, what's the resource here? Salt. Yeah. 
Yeah, there is a lot of state owned property. Hmm. Alright. It's good enough for now. Inflation is an issue, but it's going away. Um, reforms. Uh, I think I went ahead and did a bit of reforming. Oh yeah, I start, I went ahead and activated institutional oversight. Again, to further reduce the amount of provincial corruption gain. So admittedly, the nobles are still a major source. And will get worse if things... <laughs> if I get angry. So at least as so long as the novels aren't angry, I can keep corruption down. Yeah. Probably should send those ships back. To port. Naval material regain would be heavily... Uh, would heavily benefit from a reduction in war exhaustion, wouldn't it? That's a lot of unrest. I wonder how much of that is poll taxes. Anyway, that's good enough for me. Long enough for me. I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye. Oh, jeez. Yeah, definitely uh, been doing this for long enough. <laughs>